Hello, hi, welcome back to Play Success Automation Playlist with JavaScript. In today's video, I am going to talk about how to do the how to do the data driven testing by using CSE file. So I just put the agenda. So this is the <clears throat> video number twenty. So in this file. In this video, I am going to talk about how to read the test data from the CSE file and uh, how to use in the script to do the data driven testing. So, CSE file is nothing but a, it's a comma separated file. Comma, comma separated, comma separated file. <clears throat> the way how you need to create is just go to um, just select this and you need to put the uh, data like this so you have to put the headings here so you can put the headings test case test case <clears throat> and the username whatever the field you want you put you can use a name and the password and each data you need to separate with a comma so the first field this belong to So test case is test case one. Username first data is admin. Password is the admin one two three. This is the first set of data. This first set of data. <clears throat> Again another is test case two, and the username is admin, and the password is one two three. So like this you need to put, and when you save this, save as. In desktop you can save it select all here and test data test data dot csv file and you need to save it on the desktop this is a demo test data csv file so just save this you need to put dot csv file this is very important just save this close this one and when you go here the file will looks like your the file look like your excel file so when you double click this one it will open as an excel file but when you open this is the csv file which just now we have created so when you open right click right click and open with the notepad anything i'll just show you so just select the notepad So if you open in the notepad, it will dispo, display the file as a comma separated. Each field is comma separated. This is the heading. The, this is the heading of your CSV file. And there are two records here. Record 1 and record 2. Test 1, case, test case 1, test case 2. So this is how we have to create CSV file. Now, I will go to my application here. So I just created one CSV file and I have put or updated inside the test folder. Be careful to put it here. So you need to put inside the test folder. Okay. 
this icon green may not become uh, but uh, no need to worry and whenever you want to open right click open open with <clears throat> text editor select this one it will open like this in your case it may not come blue yellow like this it may be plain <coughs> so install that there is another plugin is there you can yeah just install this one rainbow csv when you install this plugin so just when you want to install just flow go here Yes, rainbow. <laughs> Just select this one, and you'll get a install here because I have already installed. That's why it's inst uninstall is showing. Okay, in your case, it will look like this. Just click this one; it will install. So this is all about your this plugin. Now this is my this is my CSV file with the test data. Now I want to read this in my test script. So how to do is very very important few things are there. You need to yeah before that I will just you need to install a couple of You need to install this one. npm in install. I'll just put in the notepad. You need to install this one. Install the CSV file library. So this is the command. npm install hyphen hyphen save csv parse so you need to install this without this you cannot work because once you install this then you will get this library this one this one so this um, so you need to install this one just install and uh, this is the first thing Another thing is, uh, whenever you want to work with the file system, so first you need to install, you need to import this one. This will come by default. So, fs, just put the cursor here. See, if node fs, fs module enable interacting the file system in a way molded on a standard box function. So, whenever you want to work with the file system, you need to import this one. And the second one is this one path. Whenever you want to use the path, path will give the location of your uh, project folder. So this is also required. And this you know. <clears throat> you know this playwright. And when you want to work with a CSV file, you need to give this one. So this imports are important the library from from the csv file csv file library will get this one <coughs> now once you done that so you need to create one object <coughs> to read the csv file data <coughs> so this is the object records and parse <coughs> as we have used fs fs dot read file sync and path dot join and we are giving this one directory name this will pick the complete directory from your test folder <laughs> you no need to put the slash slash uh, test folder and all that just give that but it will pick from your uh, test folder because the the test skip file is also in the test folder as well as this test data should also be the same file. 
then only it will pick be careful with this and uh, you need to put the csv file file name and uh, columns as we are using different columns here column 1 2 3 so we have put <coughs> column 2 and skip empty lines when when there is any empty lines for example you have put something here and you have you have put one space here and and you have put the second record here at that time at that time also it will work so it will skip the empty lines this is all about your reading the creating the creating the json file object so this i will put it here yeah this is the records object we are creating to read the complete data from the csv file and it stored in this records this records contain all these three records next <clears throat> what we need to do is as we need to retrieve one by one again we are using the for loop this is one kind of for loop <clears throat> it will read all the records one by one from your csv file so here again i am creating i am using const const is a constant so i just created a record of records the records contain the multiple records record it will reach each record from the csv file first it will reach this one it will read the data from here headings it won't read so here what i did is i just put the csv file read okay and record that record dot test case whatever the test case i have given a heading this one this i have given here <coughs> so whenever you execute it will display the test case name for example i have given test case one test case two that will display here next is <coughs> this is this is very important don't put code here single code this is a different symbol it will come below the escape key be careful with this shift just without shift you put like this it will get the character this character so you have to be very careful don't put the single quotes if you put single quote it won't work <coughs> and uh, the rest of the code is same just to print i uh, just use the console console dot log what is the test case what is the first set of data uh, username and second username that i'm printing so i already ran i'll show you i think no I, i'll run again <coughs> so for oh, i'm using the same old uh, code logging to the h login to the um, orange hrm application same thing See here what I did is here I am using this one record dot username record is this is from this this record dot username username is this field whatever the field you put that you have take and record is the here in the for loop you have used record this dot username it will put the first first username and again <clears throat> record dot password what are the fields you given in the test data same thing will use so i, I have pa i have given the both positive data here if you see here both admin admin and admin 123 both positive test data have put first i will run with the positive test data <laughs> just clear this
now i'm just running here <coughs> as there are two set of data it's showing two test cases So it has executed the both the scenarios. <coughs> As I have given this wait wait page dot pause, so that's why it's displaying this one. So this is how. So if you see here the logs. Huh? So if you see the console logs, as I have printed this one, the first record and second record. So this I am printing in the console here. So two test cases are passed here. So this is very simple code. So I will just paste it in the notepad. So that you can get an idea. This is the complete code. <clears throat> I'll, I even I will update in the uh, YouTube channel this code. No need to worry. So this is all about the doing or testing the data driven testing by using the csv file comma separated file hope you understand this one so in the next i am going to start with the um, api testing uh, videos as well some people are asking me so i will start that as well so hope you understand this one Please subscribe my channel and share to your friends. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. <clears throat>